labor analytics in healthcare. Joining us to speak about that today is David Clement, President and CEO of Health Clicks Incorporated. David, welcome. Thank you, Russell. David, I would like to start out with the threshold question of just what is Health Clicks? What is its, uh, its mission? So I guess as the president, CEO, give us that 10,000 foot view of what the company is all about. Well, our mission is nothing less than to help lower the cost of health care while simultaneously improving patient quality. And to do that, we focus on labor analytics. <laughs> now, labor expense can be up to 60% or even more of a hospital's total operating expenses. So that in and of itself shows you the importance of looking at labor and having the best analytics possible. Now, also in healthcare and other businesses experience this as well, but it's very challenging to keep your workforce in alignment with your workload or in a healthcare setting with your patient care requirements since they're constantly evolving and changing. So it's a hard thing to do and our solutions are oriented to helping people navigate those challenges and get the results you know, that are possible. Well, clearly uh, analytics is an extraordinarily important thing across industries. Every industry is concerned with the benefits that they might uh, derive from appropriate use of, uh, of analytics. But speaking specifically within the context of healthcare, what is it that you tell your customers or your potential customers about the benefits that they might uh, derive? Well, I'll start by answering that with, um, you know, we've been involved with labor analytics and healthcare for over 27 years, our leadership team has. And over those years, we've developed through our other businesses and efforts, some of the most widely adopted uh, labor management and labor analytics solutions that have ever been introduced to the industry. But having said that, we've also, we also recognize over the, the you know, more recent years that newer and better approaches and tools needed to be developed, not just patching old legacy systems, but really developing some new tools. And that's driven by changing technology, it's driven by having more uh, extensive information available that you haven't had in the past, by having more timely information available that you haven't in, had in the past. So we recognize that a whole new breed of tool and solution really needed to be developed to leverage you know, all those changes. And that's what our Laborlytics solution is all about, which is our labor analytics solution for healthcare. And to start with, you know, the first thing that any labor analytics solution in any industry needs to do is to help you manage your workforce or align your workforce with your volume, right? With the workload that you have. So to do that, um, you need to have all kinds of robust productivity and performance um, reporting abilities, you know, in your solution. And that needs to be across several different time frames. It might be bi-weekly, it might be daily, and even real time, right? With the availability of information now, you can do real time staffing analysis and productivity analysis. So our solutions bring all that together, all that performance and productivity information, and then also it links it with electronic FTE request processing, and dynamic position control. So all of your productivity and performance information gets linked to these other business processes that have to do with managing labor. So you have a nice complete solution set and everything is in sync and giving you the same information. And on top of that, you know, not everything that gets produced in a health care setting is the same. Not every patient is the same. Uh, not every test that might get performed in a laboratory is the same. So there's this concept of intensity and how the mix of things that you're doing and the mix of patients that you're treating can really impact productivity. So through intensity adjustments and patient classification or patient acuity, you can also account for those variances in your business as well. But with all that being said, I think the real power, and to me, this is where the best analytic solutions will go in our industry and in any industry, is to provide more focused analytics. 
provide analytics that will draw you to see the things that you need to see instead of it being just an open-ended tool that you use to draw your own conclusions. So I'll give you some examples of that. Um, we provide some focused insights where we just uh, push those right out to you having to do with other aspects of your labor management programs like on-call and charge pay. And in the area of on-call alone, that's something that hasn't been analyzed you know, much over the years. It actually has started to over the few years. We've been leading that charge. Um, so it's been an under-analyzed part of our labor cost structure in healthcare. And we estimate that there's a billion dollars opportunity in on-call uh, just in the industry alone, just on that one piece of it. So our, that we think the best solutions provide some focus to your efforts and lead you to look at some of this stuff. Another example is incidental labor, right? There was 15 minutes of extra time here or there that somebody is you know, working on site or they haven't clocked out that can drive significant overtime. Well again, that we think the best solutions are going to bring that to your attention, not wait for you to find, you know, and analyze that type of information. And there's also an educational component. Um, you know, when we look at labor in any industry, yes, sometimes it's about meeting targets and expectations, but a lot of times it's about giving your frontline managers information that they need to even understand when it is that they got the best outcomes, just comparing themselves against themselves, benchmarking an individual against him or herself. And when they see this is where I got the best outcome and they see why, obviously now you've got some good knowledge you know, to replicate that. So what I'm hearing is very exciting I'm one of, you know, as a customer, as a potential customer. But I guess this is the question that I have for you. Walk me through the typical results that I as a customer, should you sign me up, am likely to get. What would you say? Well, in a couple words, you know, I'll say um, extensive and lasting. And you know, I talked about you know, the uh, labor management challenge of managing labor to volume and how in healthcare, like some other businesses, that's a very challenging thing to do. Well, if you have, let's say, a $50 million payroll, if you can use analytics to move that needle just 2% and increase your cost effectiveness just 2%, that's a million dollars that you've saved. And then if you can keep your workforce in alignment, you know, at that performance level and from a recurring fashion, well, that's a million dollars every year for just moving the needle just a little bit. And we think the best tools and our tools can help you do that. Um, and beyond that, there's a couple other ways that you get results. You know, one way is in not necessarily reducing your workforce or reducing your hours, but increasing the cost effectiveness of the hours that you have. We talked about on-call and how that's been an under-analyzed, you know, uh, part of labor in our industry. You know, well, if you focus on that and you can reduce that labor expense, you're not cutting your workforce at all, you're just getting a more effective labor management program and saving some money you know, on top of that. And there's lots of examples of that. And then there's a whole third category that has nothing to do with cost reduction, right? And so this has to do with just maybe staying cost neutral, but better aligning your workforce with labor again. So let me give you an example. There might be a department or an area of a hospital, and let's use the emergency department as an example, where overall the emergency department is meeting their cost goals, you know, and their labor management goals, they're right on plan. But when you use analytics to dig a little bit deeper, you might find that on Thursdays, they're very unproductive. And on Monday, uh, they're extremely productive. So it all washes out and they're meeting their goals, but there's a problem with that when, you, when you've got such differences in productivity on different days. Now probably what's happening is there are a lot of ER visits on Mondays, so the staff does great productivity, but they're probably very frazzled and ER wait times are probably very long, so they're getting a lot of throughput they're getting a lot of work done, but you know, the workforce you know, might not be providing the quality that they need, the patients that are being seen might not be you know, as satisfied as they might otherwise be. 
So then when you see that Thursday, you've got some excess capacity because it's not as busy of a day. There is the concept of shifting your workforce where you can take some of the resources that you typically schedule and use on a Thursday and shift them over to Monday. Now you haven't saved any money as a business, but you've just had a huge win because you are increasing customer satisfaction, you're probably increasing quality, you're, and you're increasing the satisfaction of your workforce. So results can be all over the spectrum Many of which are, right, we all love to save costs in our businesses where it's rational and, you know, realizable, but some of it is just doing a better job for all of your constituencies. Very, very smart approach to things. Final question, David. Uh, many of us think in terms of takeaways. Well, in your estimation, then, what would be the takeaway for the healthcare industry? So I would answer that by um, don't leave your results to chance, right? Get a partner and get a solution set that has that deep domain expertise, you know, that can really help you, you know, get to the point that you need and want to get to. These are complex, challenging things, and there's nothing wrong with needing help. And if you go outside to help and you can get the results that you want sooner, and you can get them even cheaper than you can on your own, right, why wouldn't you? You know, and from a health clicks perspective, um, this is what we've done seemingly forever, uh, but we've done this for so many years and we have a real passion for it. And our goals at health clicks, we don't focus on growing our business per se, we focus on helping you as a customer get the best results you can get and make a real improvement a positive impression and changes on your business. And we realize that to the extent that we can be successful with that, then our business will just take care of itself. Well, partnering up with the right folks is clearly very, very important. David, I know you're busy here at the conference, but you found time to sit down and speak with us. Thank you so very, very much for that. Thank you. It's David Clement, Health Clicks Incorporated, speaking with us today about labor analytics in healthcare. Thank you for watching.